Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us deal with multiplication. So how do we solve similar problems in multiplication? So we have taken one example. 1a into a is equal to 9a. So here also your first focus would be on the units place. That is on this particular column. So if you focus on the units place, what do you see? So you have to satisfy this condition. A plus A should be equal to A. So you need to have a digit which when multiplied to itself, the results units place should have the same digit. So let us try it out. For example, 0 into 0 will be 0. 1 into 1 is 1. 2 into 2 is 4. 3 into 3 is 9. 4 into 4 is 16. 5 into 5 is 25, 6 into 6 is 36, 7 into 7 is 49, 8 into 8 is 64, 9 into 9 is 81. So in how many of these cases do you see that the units place of the result also has the same digit? So 0 is a possibility, 1 is a possibility. 5 is a possibility, 6 also is a possibility because for all of them you look at the units digit so it is the same digit. So now let us try all these options. So the first option could be 0. Now 0 is not an option because if you put 0, so what happens? Okay, let's see. So put a is equal to 0. So if you do that, it becomes 10 into 0, which is equal to 90. Is that possible? Now anything multiplied with 0 should give you 0. So therefore a is equal to 0 is not an option. Second option is put a is equal to 1. So in that case it would be 1 1 into 1. So the result has to be 91. But 11 into 1 is 91? No. So this is also not the option. Third option is put a is equal to 5. So in that case this would be 15 into 5. So this would be 5, 5 is a 25, 5 ones are 5, 6, 7. So this should be 75 but here we have 9. So this is also not possible. Now we are left with the last option that is put a is equal to 6. So in that case it would be 16 into 6. So 6 is a 36. 6, 1 the 6, 7, 8, 9. So in this case, it satisfies the condition where this is 9, but your A is equal to the same digit. So therefore, in this case, the answer would be 6. So let's try this one. AB into 3 is equal to CAB. So first step would be to focus on the units place digit as per which B into 3 should be equal to B. So anything multiplied to 3, the result should have the same digit in the units place, which is satisfied by 0, not satisfied by 1, not satisfied by 2, not satisfied by 3, not satisfied by 4, but satisfied by 5. Because here you see 5 when multiplied with 3 gives you a number whose units digit is 5 again. So 5 could also be another possibility. So if you want you can write down the rest of the numbers but it doesn't satisfy us anyways. So 0 and 5 are the only two possibilities. So let us try with the first possibility that is put b is equal to 0. So in that case this will become a0 into 3 which is equal to c a0. So now what should be the next step that we should be doing? Okay, so now in this case 3 into 0 is 0. Now 3 into a should be equal to what? It should be equal to a. So let's do that. So 3 into a should be equal to a. So what is what could be that value of a? So when you look at this, again a, the one possible value of a could be 5. So if a is 5, then 5 into 3 is equal to 15. So the units place is again a. So with that in mind, we can say that the value of a could be 5. Now let's put a is equal to 5. So then we get 50 into 3 
is equal to 0, 5. Now what would be this? 3 into 0 is 0, 3, 5 is so 15. So you have 1 carry forward so that 1 will be here. So with that C should be equal to 1. So with this we see that A is equal to 5, B is equal to 0 and C is equal to 1. So this is a set, one set of solution. Now you might ask, okay, but we never tried with B is equal to 5 because for B we had two possibilities, 0 and 5. Okay, so if you want, let us try it with the second possibility also. What would have happened if we would have put B is equal to 5? So in that case, it would be A5 into 3 is equal to 5AC. So in this case, again, we would have wanted 3 into A to be equal to a. So therefore, one possibility could have been what? So the possibility could have been A is equal to 5. But now let's see what is actually happening here. So in this case, 3 into 5 is 15. So here you have 5, but you have 1 carry forward. So basically, when you multiply 3 into A, whatever result you get on that, you add 1 in order to get a. So that means you actually want 3 into a plus 1 to be equal to a. That is you actually want 3a plus 1 to be equal to a which is just not possible. So this is not possible and therefore if you want you can heat and trial with different types of numbers. You will never be able to find out a number of a for which 3 into a plus 1 is equal to a is equal to a in the sense a number ending with a so that's not possible therefore b is equal to 5 is not an appropriate solution for this trick let's try one more so here you have a b into 6 is equal to b b b so first we will focus on the units place that is b into 6 should be equal to b. So anything multiplied by 6. So basically you need to write the table of 6. So 6 into 0 is 0, 6 1 is a 6, 6 2 is a 12, 6 3 is a 18, 6 4 is a 6, 4 is a 24, 6 5 is a 30, 6 6 is a 36, 6 7 is a 42, 6 8 is a 48, 6 9 is a 54. So in this case, where do you see that here like 0 into 6, this is 1 into 6, this is 2 into 6. So if you see here, 0 satisfies this condition, 2 also satisfies this condition, 4 also satisfies this condition, 6 also satisfies this condition and 8 also satisfies this condition. So what are the various possible values of B? 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. These are all possibilities for B. So these are the various possibilities. Now let us try putting each of the values. So first option is B is equal to 0. So if you put B is equal to 0, then it becomes A 0 into 6 is equal to 0, 0, 0. So you cannot have a result like 0, 0, 0. So this is not possible. Let's try out the second option, which is 2. That is A 2 into 6 is equal to 2, 2, 2. So 6, 2 is a 12. You have one carry forward. Now 6 into A plus 1 should be something which gives you 2, right? So basically it is something like now 6 into A should be equal to this remaining 22, but you have one carry forward 1. So if you subtract the carry forward 1 from 21, so 21 should be exactly divisible by 6, right? So let's say if 6 into 6 if you do, so 6 is a 36 plus 1. So here it should be 37. So here we are just doing reverse engineering. You have 22 here but you have 1 carry forward. So subtract 1 from here so it becomes 21 but 21 is not completely divisible by 6. So therefore this is not the right solution. Let's check the third option which is 4. So a4 into 6 is equal to 4, 4, 4. So 6, 4 is a 24. So you have 2 carry forward. Now subtract 2 from 44. It becomes 42. So is 6, is 42 completely divisible by 6? Yes, 6 into 7 is 42. So therefore this is the right solution. 
so just try this one so let's put the value of a as 7 so when you put it as 7 so 7 into 74 into 6 this becomes 6 4 is a 24 you have 2 carry forward now 6 into 7 is 42 plus 2 that is 44 so that is what we were doing we were subtracting this carry forward number from here and then we were trying to see if that number is exactly divisible by 6 or not if it is divisible then that is the right solution so in this case a is equal to 7 and b is equal to 4 so if you want you can even try with uh, b is equal to 6 or b is equal to 8 but all of them you would see that they are not divisible for example let's try with b is equal to 6 in that case it would be a6 into 6 result is 66 so 6 is a 36 you have 3 carry forward so 66 minus 3 would be 63 and 63 is not exactly divisible by 6 so this is also not possible in a similar way b is equal to 8 is also not possible thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you